subscribe and hit the notification bell icon for future videos. Believers have the indwelling Spirit of Christ, the Comforter who proceeds from the Father. The Holy Spirit assists believers in prayer and intercedes for God's people in accordance with the will of God. He also leads the believer into righteousness and produces his fruit in those yielded to him. Believers are to submit to the will of God and walk in the Spirit. The Christian life is a journey and we are to walk it. We are to make consistent forward progress. The biblical norm for all believers is that they walk in the Spirit. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. In other words, the Spirit gave us life in the new birth, and we must continue to live, day by day, in the Spirit. To walk in the Spirit means that we yield to His control, we follow His lead, and we allow Him to exert His influence over us. To walk in the Spirit is the opposite of resisting Him, or grieving Him. Stand fast therefore in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. This I say then, walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. But if ye be led of the Spirit, ye are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like, of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. And they that are Christ's have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Galatians 5 examines the work of the Holy Spirit in the believer. The context is freedom from the law of Moses. Those who walk in the Spirit eagerly await by faith the righteousness for which we hope, and are free from the law. Also, those who walk in the Spirit will not gratify the desires of the flesh. The flesh, our fallen nature under the power of sin, is in direct conflict with the Spirit. When the flesh is in charge, the results are obvious. But when the Spirit is in control, He produces godly qualities within us, apart from the strictures of the law. Believers have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires, and now we walk in the Spirit. Those who walk in the Spirit are united with Him, and the bearers of the fruit the Spirit produces. Thus, those who walk in the Spirit walk in love, they live in love for God, and for their fellow man. Those who walk in the Spirit, walk in joy, they exhibit gladness in what God has done, is doing, and will do. Those who walk in the Spirit walk in peace, they live worry-free, and refuse anxiety. Those who walk in the Spirit, walk in patience, they are known for having a long fuse, and do not lose their temper. Those who walk in the Spirit, walk in kindness, they show tender concern for the needs of others. Those who walk in the Spirit, walk in goodness, their actions reflect virtue and holiness. Those who walk in the Spirit, walk in faithfulness, they are steadfast in their trust of God and His Word. Those who walk in the Spirit, walk in gentleness, their lives are characterized by humility, grace, and thankfulness to God. Those who walk in the Spirit, walk in self-control, they display moderation, constraint, and the ability to say no to the flesh. Those who walk in the Spirit rely on the Holy Spirit to guide them in thought, word, and deed. They show forth daily, moment by moment holiness, just as Jesus did, when full of the Holy Spirit, left the Jordan, and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, to be tempted. To walk in the Spirit, is to be filled with the Spirit, and some results of the Spirit's filling, are thankfulness, singing, and joy. Those who walk in the Spirit follow the Spirit's led. They let the Word of Christ dwell in richly, and the Spirit uses the Word of God, for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. Their whole way of life is lived according to the rule of the Gospel, as the Spirit moves them toward obedience. When we walk in the Spirit, we find that the sinful appetites of the flesh have no more dominion over us. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh and whither it goeth. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. 
please rate the video, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon for future videos. The video is free to use on your channel without giving me any credit. God bless you all.